Well, hello everyone. So this has been a, a couple attempts of trying to make this video for today and between just complete lunacy on the streets and me seeing things that just aren't normal, normal I keep getting distracted on uh, what I've been trying to say. So uh, this is around like five or six right now. So no matter what happens, this is the one y'all getting. So any pauses, any weirdness, y'all just going to get it with me. So, all right. Uh, yesterday, I went and talked with the uh, financial guru, the one who uh, does all the problem solving for like the TurboTax and QuickBooks and all that kind of stuff. And um, we had a long conversation about, you know, some things that I want to do, um, how to, you know, uh, do, and I got to be careful. I, I'm not going to say too much on the specifics, but we talked about how to start up a business and um, you know, and it's more than just my normal business because I'm going to be transferring, transferring things from one business to another, and then I'm going to be introducing a lot of personal stuff that you know has been tucked away for years and years and years, and you know things that I bought in cash and I don't even know where the receipts are, so how to do that. So we had a long conversation about you know what's involved in just getting to that point and making sure that what I do is the right way to do. So she explained a lot of that to me and, um, you know, there's a lot of eye-opening things that I didn't know about because I know how to start a business. I know how to run a business, like, you know, old school style, but a lot of the new rules and everything I'm unfamiliar with and she helped me, helped guide me and showed me a path to take. So now, now that I know what I'm dealing with, I can kind of put together a plan and, you know, get everything ready because I want I don't want to just jump into this too quickly although I do want to get it done but I also want to make sure that I do it the right way because this is going to be something that you know will basically by be my like retirement business and you know so and it gets me which I don't think there's going to be any uh, liability but it gets me away from this business here so in case anything weird was to ever happen, I don't know, I really doubt anything would, but it kind of gets me on a fresh fresh start. Now there are some drawbacks to that, but you know, it's something for me to decide. So, and yesterday I went over to uh, my, the, well, the sister's house. I went over, um, measured her windows, gave her a price, everything else, and came in at like half the cost of anybody else that quoted her windows and it's not my first time going over a house to measure windows measure doors that uh, you know over the years I've, I've given her a lot of prices and stuff like that and you know and whenever I went over this time you know it looked like a lot of what work was done that I priced and she didn't go with me and yeah this kind of put a little weird vibe on things and I went and priced the windows and they were very very large windows I mean they're you know, big windows, it'd be difficult for me to install. And I talked with the window company and they're talking about four months to get the windows in, maybe longer. And I'm like, you know what? They're just nothing that's enticing me to do this job. There's nothing, you know, other than just money, there's nothing in it for me. And I just wasn't feeling a good vibe about it. So, um, but I pondered it last night and, you know, thought about it this morning and I finally, you know, I'm just having a weird feeling about it. So I uh, texted her and just told her, you know, well, actually, I made, once I made up my mind, you know, because I was like, you know what? I just don't want to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And as soon as I said that, it just, everything felt better. So I texted her and, you know, of course, she's not really happy about it, but I just, I wasn't having a, you know, having a good feeling about the job and I just made the decision. So, you know. But, I mean, like, I want to help her, but at the same time, just, you know, I can see a lot of things going wrong on that job that I wouldn't have control over. As far as, you know, windows coming in damaged, just there's a lot of stuff. And it's hard to explain to you what I saw, but there was just, you know, after 23 years of doing doors and windows, I just saw a lot of stuff going on on that particular house and that particular just situation. And I was like, you know, I just, I'm not really... You know, I wasn't vibing, as they say. So, um, and then today I've been moving doors. I got um, one load of doors left at the storage unit, 
and then I have uh, one load of miscellaneous random bits and pieces of doors uh, and then all the doors are pretty much going to be cleared out of that one unit which sucked because yesterday I paid for the unit for another month um, I wasn't able I got one almost emptied and the other one um, about half empty but it just wasn't enough time for me to get it and I was about to start accruing late payments and everything else it's like you know what I just paid a bill and uh, next month hopefully it's cheaper well it should be so and I've decided on one of the units because I have so much plywood so much lumber so much stuff going on and I don't know where to put it at the shop I'm gonna set it up as like you know a way to hold the lumber or hold the plywood hold everything nice and neat and I'm gonna build a rack which I'll show you guys once I get done building it but I'm gonna build a rack to uh, uh, get everything nicely organized inside the storage unit and there'll be uh, uh, some big tall like eight foot tall doors and them things are real slow to sell and I may be doing a personal project with them so I figured I'd leave them in the storage unit too if I'm gonna keep one you know I'll just keep the real big heavy stuff so I don't have to move it twice so, and I kind of I kind of like that idea you know I don't want to have to pay on a unit but this gives me more motivated more uh, more motivated to get stuff done so but that's pretty much been yesterday and today and it's just been weird and odd a little bit and you know uh, and there's a couple things you know as far as things I'm looking at the world and just trying to figure out you know just some of the craziness in the world as far as you know like I, if, if someone has talked to me I don't normally say this on the internet too much but you know I do believe that America is no longer for Americans I don't think our government has our best interest at heart um, regardless of what side you're on um, I do not think it seems like a lot of the things the decisions and the rules and the laws that they make uh, benefit everybody except for Americans you know they're giving money to every other country while we you know have record high inflation and you know just it's just you know and it's not just the government it's the you know I believe that the media told the truth uh, regardless of which one you want to listen to because there's so much manipulation in the media because um, I, I listen to NPR and I listen to talk radio you know I watch clippets of CNN Fox MSNBC I mean I, I watch all of them you know and I, I see a story and I say okay what do they say about it what do they say about it and me not me as a person who if the, they were not fully dedicated to watching the government um, they wouldn't know what the hell is basically whichever voice sounds the best is who they're going to believe you know so but you know like for me I try to stay one step ahead of whatever may get in my way as far as uh, you know preparations and it's not even just the government there's so much other stuff going on but it just it's it's hard to be happy in a world like this and you know, that's why I'm trying to get rid of my stuff. I'm trying to make the money. I'm trying to get, you know, I can tell you this year is about fixing me. You know, I'm going to be a selfish mf -er, you know, uh, a lot more than I have been. I've, I've done a lot for people, but I'm going to be a little stingy, and I'm working on trying to get some of my stuff done. So, but yeah, uh, tomorrow and probably later on tonight, I'm going to go over to my mom's house and try to finish up that shed a little bit. I gotta build doors this weekend. Man, I just, it never stops. So, and then trying to figure out where to put all the stuff. I mean, I still have three more storage units here that's loaded with merchandise. And a lot of that's going to be processed and put into the truck and taken right out to the flea market and sold. And uh, until I get control of this, I'm not buying no more stuff, which I'm hoping in three months I can have control of this again and have everything in one spot and. You know, still won't all be gone through, but I'll have a majority of it done. And uh, even though I said I was going to be selfish, I'm going to be giving a lot of stuff away. You know, uh, 
I'm just going to be making bundled things. And I'm, when I say giving away, I'm going to be selling them for very, very cheap to a point to where I wouldn't care if I donated it or if I sold it because it'd be that cheap. So, But now I'm just trying to get the piles made so I can take a picture and get it online and get them sold. And, you know, and I'm hopefully, uh, like I said, next week we're going to be doing some wicked door installs and some weird stuff. And um, I'm going to record a couple of them, which they may be very, very long videos. But I'll try my best to figure out how to do some kind of editing on them. Anyways, I want to go load up my second load of doors today, or third load of doors. Hell, I don't know how many times I've been here. Jesus. And I did cheat this morning. I, I spent a little money. I had a coupon for a free sandwich, so all I did was buy the drink, and I got a sandwich for free. So I didn't spend a whole lot of money, but I still ate food I probably shouldn't have ate, but it tasted so good. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good time. Again, you know, I talk about things that are real. I don't try to get anybody depressed, but, you know, it just, there's, th I tell you about the things I'm thinking about and the things that are happening in my life for good or for bad. You know, if, if you're doing worse than me, uh, then, you know, hopefully I can, I'm saying something that inspires you to, you know, get out of that bad situation. If you're doing better than me, then, you know, use me as an example of how not to mess up. Either way, I'm fine with it. So, I just want to try to inspire at least one person to do something more than what they thought they could do. Because everybody has so much potential. And they squander it, and I don't know why, including myself. Uh, and you know what? I'm about to go on another thing here, and I'm not going to do it. So, peace, love, money. I'm out.